Hello everyone, my name is Russell Lowe. I'm a Senior Lecturer in Architecture at the University of New South Wales uh, at the Faculty of the Built Environment. Um, this is a tutorial on how to create a basic map in uh, the Sandbox 2 editor for Crisis Wars. So to start off with we go File New and we call our level, this is uh, in particular or a particular naming convention for the students of Arch 1101 uh, so if you're not doing that course you should probably name it something a little bit more sensible for you. But call it your student ID. And uh, this is A. Uh, the next level will be B, C, D, E uh, until, you've, uh, until you're ready to hand the thing in. Uh, and then underscore levels. And that way I know it's your levels uh, folder, not your objects folder. That's again for Arch 1101. Uh, you can see the height map resolution is 1024 by 1024 uh, and the meters per unit at the moment is 2. I'm going to change that to 1. So that means my terrain size, as you can see, is almost a, or just over a kilometre by a kilometre wide. Go OK. And you can see by right clicking and looking around, you can see that we've got uh, this white sort of space with a little bit of a watery kind of effect going on. We're actually under the water at the moment. Um, go up to the terrain. Uh, hit edit terrain and then in this button here go generate terrain this dialog opens with a whole lot of sliders so you can change it I leave it like this to begin with go OK and you can see that we've got some dark areas, some light areas and the stuff around the outside the lighter it is the higher it is the darker it is the lower it is and the stuff around the outside is uh, dead flat and underwater that's fine to begin with close that and you can see the effects of it there um, if we go File, Generate Surface Texture, which is the next step, you can see we've got these to choose from. The higher up here you go, the more detailed it is, um, and it'll take longer for your machine to process it. Go OK, and you can see now we're clearly underwater. Holding down the W and the right click at the same time, um, you can move around your environment. Uh, this next step is a little strange. You go File and Export to Engine, which I guess isn't so strange. But what we're going to do now is actually shut it down and start it up again. So what I'm going to do is pause the video and come back when it's uh, when it's open again. So shut it. Say yes. So I've just opened it up again. Go File. That's the one that we just did. In the, in the list here or you can go file open and open it from the Crisis Wars Levels um, uh, folder. You can see we get a few errors um, that's quite normal um, nothing to be too worried about. If we go down to the surface here now we can actually jump into the environment. What I'm going to do first though is um, go into the terrain tab under the roll up bar on the right hand side here hit modify and this flatten I'm actually going to hold down control and left click and that samples a small part of it and if I make the radius of this a bit bigger you'll see that what's happening is that it's bringing everything either up to that level if it was below it or down to that level if it's above it okay and so you can choose a few other things like smooth and rise and lower if you want to raise and lower it to a particular uh, level. Um, turn off modify, zoom down there a little bit with the W, hold control G, hold control and hit G and you'll drop into the level and you can run around. Uh, if I hit F1 I'll see myself and you'll see uh, that I'm a nurse but in uh, your case, you'll see a guy with a um, a wetsuit, wearing a strange wetsuit, the nano suit, in fact. And uh, I'm seeing a nurse because I've been modifying uh, Crisis to uh, simulate clinical environments. Um, you can hit F3, and that allows you to fly, so you can sort of fly back and get a good look at it. Hit F3 again, and then F3 once more, and you'll fall back down to the ground. Don't do that too high. Uh, hit F1 again to go into first person. Hit Escape to get out of the uh, environment and I'm right clicking again to look around. When you're inside the game by holding Control G 
You use the standard WASD keys to move around and use the mouse to control where you're looking. Okay, so that's um, that's enough for the time being. Uh, hope this was useful. Cheers.